This is what the US weapons trade looks like. Almost half of all US major weapons exports contribute to conflicts in the Middle East. Here's three things you should know about the US arms trade. One, the US's weapons export. The US are is massive. by far the largest exporter in the world, the third of the world's export of weapons coming from the US or being produced under license in other countries such as Japan, for instance, or Australia or other very close allies. The US sends weapons to over 98 countries and its arms exports grew by 20% from 2013 to 2017 compared to the five year period before. The US weapons help the country in the Since 2010, the key receiver of weapons from the US has been sent to The 2010 decade is really characterized by very severe conflict in the Middle East and the US is a partner, is a very close partner to Saudi Arabia and several countries in the region. They're at war with Yemen, therefore US will support Saudi Arabia and therefore supplying weapons for the country to wage war. The UN declared it illegal to transfer weapons to countries at war. Some European states like Finland and Germany already stopped sending weapons. You can see that there's Europe. demand from the civil society to think this through and to basically ban uh, transferring weapons. In the US, I don't think we're going to see something like that. It can take decades for the US weapons most of the transfers that we're observing now were made probably, the, the contracts were probably signed under Obama. Like the F-35, the program was started in 1990, and now they're receiving the weapon. We're probably going to see the impact of Trump decisions with regard to transferring weapons to uh, international in like five to seven years maybe.